Well, welcome back uh, as we continue uh, the review of our uh, animation uh, so far. Uh, we're about 600 frames short of uh, having our full animation, but, I, but we're at a point now where we can actually look at most of this animation all right, uh, using DJV to preview it. Now we need to ask ourselves, what do we do next? Now, here's what goes on in my mind. When I'm previewing the final uh, uh, subframe rendering, I'll ask myself a couple questions. Uh, is this good enough to proceed with the video editing? Or in, in other words, preparing the final animation presentation. Is it good enough? I ask myself, uh, good enough in terms of quality? I ask myself, can I fix any um, not perfect animation movement in the video? If I feel confident that I can, then I'll move forward. I'll ask myself, how is this going to look when it's reduced in size, uh, when the viewer is looking at my final presentation that comes out of the video editor? What happens if they view it on a small device? How does it look? I'll ask myself that question. What happens if they view it on a device that pulls it apart? This is 1920 by 1080, so it has a limited number of pixels. If, if, if a viewer were to, were to view this on, say, a 65-inch um, a uh, LCD tel uh, television, uh, that television is obviously going to take this 2K, 1920 by 1080, and pull it apart, it'll upscale it. And so it fills in all the pixels that, okay? So it upscales it. So I ask myself, how is it gonna look if it's upscaled or if it's downscaled, all right? And, I'll, and, I'll, and then I'll ask myself, uh, does, this, does, this, uh, does this accomplish the animation that I had in mind uh, as I built it? Uh, is the uh, is the story there? Is it interesting enough? Is it exciting enough? Is it giving the the viewer an experience? All right. Um, if it's boring, uh, and if it's a straight flu through flight just like that, it just uh, you know I might look at it and say you know this this is this is boring. It doesn't do anything. Uh, and so if I get if I get positive responses in my own mind to my questions, then I'll proceed with moving into the video editor and prepare an animation. If I don't get positive answers in my own mind to my own questions, I'm okay with throwing the whole thing away. I really am. Uh, yeah, keep in mind that uh, I've had uh, one, two, three, four computers that have been cranking away at this thing. No skin off my teeth, you know. I just uh, I allowed it to work. Uh, I went about my business and uh, did whatever else I do with my day. And my computers were were rendering these keyframes into subframes. And I would sit down periodically, check to see if everything's on track. The point I'm making is that I'm okay with throwing away hundreds or thousands of subframes uh, because, well, it, it, it's I, I don't I don't lose my original work. I I I I'm documented. Uh, I've got all my keyframes. I've got my files saved. I mean, I could I could go back and tweak something and start all over again. It's okay. And I have thrown away probably I don't know I don't know maybe fifty thousand subframes because I just didn't like the way it worked out, and I just threw them away. Some cases I went back to the animation uh, to the Mandelbulb 3D animation, tweaked it out. Um, sometimes I didn't. 
So, but that's just the nature of the game. Uh, and that's what artists get to do. They get to decide whether or not they're going to uh, continue with their artistic endeavor. They get to decide. So I think we have here, um, I don't know if you agree or not, but I think we have a, an animation that is, has got detail, it's got, it's got a degree of quality, um, it, uh, it's got some interesting moves to it, and I think we can actually move forward and bring this into a video editor and, um, and, uh, and start wiring this up. Now, let me, let me say this before we go much further here on that one topic. Let me see if I can find, there we go. Okay, so here's our frames. We really don't need that running all the time like that. I'm just going to stop that. We'll just take a look at the frames. Now, here's a, here's a point I want to make uh, in closing to this session. We can certainly go into our video editor and we can start preparing this, uh, this animation even though we're not complete. We're at 3623 frames. Now, this is probably going to take another... 10 hours to render. I mean, I, I could throw more computers at it if I wanted to. But the point I'm making is this, that I can and usually do go into my video editor and I begin to set up the, uh, the, the animation project. And I'm going to do that for you. And I'll, I'll, pre I'll begin preparing the video presentation even when I don't have all of the frames left, uh, rendered and available to me. Uh, and, I, and, and you'll understand the logic behind this as we, uh, uh, as we move into the video editor. So I think that's what we're going to do. We are going to, in the next session... Um, we're going to move into editing the video and see if we can bring this uh, to, uh, to a point where we, we like the presentation. And then when all of the frames are finally rendered, we'll have our presentation all set up. And all we have to do is move all the frames in there and, and wrap up the video presentation, render it out. And, um, and then publish it uh, from there, all right? So the next session, what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, we're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna show you how to acquire uh, DaVinci Resolve, and it'll be the free version. Uh, so we're maintaining a good track record of no investment in software yet. And we're coming up on a point where we we're actually can publish a, uh, you know, uh, an actual animation. All right. So we're going to go, I'll show you how to acquire DaVinci Resolve, the free version. Um, and then we'll, we'll open up a project and we'll get this thing started. Okay. So I think you're going to find the next uh, couple sessions uh, very interesting and uh, kind of bringing uh, all of the work that we've done so far to a point where we can move toward a publishable uh, animation project using the Mandelbulb 3D uh, Fractal Generator software. All right? All right. I'll see you in the next session, and we'll, we'll get moving on the video editing. I'll see you there.